The key to growing fruit trees that really produce is pollination, and it's something that you have to plan for right from the start. Now, each fruit tree has very distinct needs for pollination. In this video, I'm gonna give you just a few of the basics. So let's start with just a few facts that you may have forgotten from high school biology. Most fruit trees require pollination in order for fruit to set, and this happens when the trees are blossoming. Pollen from the anthers, that's the male part of the plant, has to be transferred to the stigma, which is the female part of the plant. And when that happens, fertilization occurs and fruit grows. Otherwise, you get a lot of flowers, but no fruit. Now you'll remember from science class that pollen can be transferred a number of ways. Birds, wind, insects, but the number one pollinator is the honeybee. Now as a bee flies from flower to flower gathering nectar, he transfers pollen between the two. A single honeybee can visit as many as 5,000 flowers in a single day. And later on, I'm gonna give you some tips to help the bees get the job done. Here's the tricky part about pollination. With the help of the bees, some trees can pollinate and bear fruit all by themselves, and they're called self-pollinating or self-fruitful. Nearly all common varieties of apricot, nectarine, sour cherry, and peach are self-fruitful. Others though, like most plums, pears, sweet cherries, and apples are self-unfruitful. This means they need another tree for pollination, and not just another tree of the same variety, but a different variety of the same fruit. Now also, the two varieties have to be compatible. Certain species only pollinate other species. And of course, they have to blossom at about the same time. But to make things easier, all of the fruit trees at Lowe's have a plant tag that gives you information on pollination and lots more. So, check the tag. Planting a tree is easy. To learn how, just watch our How to Plant a Tree video at lowes.com videos. But when you're planting fruit trees, there are a few extra things to consider. First, for the best possible pollination, don't plant the trees more than 100 feet apart. And also, think about the fruit harvest. Any fruit that's not picked will fall to the ground, so place the trees where the fallen fruit won't cause a problem. When first planted, fertilizer is not recommended. Fruit trees go through a kind of a shock when they're put in the ground, and fertilizer can burn tender roots. Water is all that's needed at first. Pine bark mulch in a four foot diameter, about six inches deep all around the tree will help retain moisture. Once the tree is established, use a mild slow release fertilizer for the first year. Just follow the manufacturer's directions. This promotes root growth, the overall health of the tree and a stronger bud set, which helps with pollination. Fruit trees should be watered once a week during dry spells, especially during the first two years after planting. Letting your tree dry out can cause a weak bud set or even cause the flowers to fall early. And this means poor pollination and little or no fruit. So water well enough to soak several inches into the soil. Another thing you can do to help pollination is spray the trees with dormant oil. Dormant oil smothers mites and insect eggs that later emerge and damage the buds. Follow the label directions, especially all of the safety recommendations, like wearing a respirator, gloves, and goggles. Spray it on the trees on one of the warmest and sunniest days in February. Now let's talk about how you can help the bees. One of the most important things to remember is never to use pesticides during bloom time. Bees are very susceptible to almost all pesticides, and even if you're going after other insects, you could end up damaging the bee population. Something else you can do while your trees are in blossom is to keep dandelions and other broadleaf weed flowers cut. This will keep the bees on the trees. So with these tips, your fruit trees will grow abundant crops year after year. And if you'd like to know how to preserve all that delicious fruit, check out our canning videos, along with our other great how-to videos at lowes.com videos.